In the previous video, we introduced the symbol and footprint creation for the HT10 chip, but we created them separately. This section, we will introduce the binding of footprint and 3D model. Open library and then device, personal. And we can see that our HT10 only shows its symbol. Right click and select edit device to enter the editing page. Click on property on the left and you will see that both footprint and 3D model files are empty. Click the three dots next to footprint. Select personal and you will find the footprint we created. Select it and click confirm to complete the binding. As for the 3D model, click the three dots on the right to open the binding page. Since we didn't create a 3D model, we can search on the server. We will see that the corresponding 3D model has been found. After selecting it, the model's orientation may be incorrect, and you can adjust it on the right. Once the adjustments are complete, click Confirm. The 3D model is now bound. Press Ctrl S to save. At this point, if we check our component again, we can see both the footprint and the 3D model. On the start page, you can also import a 3D model created by external software via the new 3D model option to bind it. Of course, if you only created the symbol, you can still search the server for the appropriate footprint. After verifying that everything is correct, you can select the footprint and complete the binding. After binding, if modification to the footprint are needed, you can open library, footprint, find the footprint to edit, right click and choose edit footprint to enter the editing interface. Similar to the symbol wizard, the footprint also provides a wizard, which offers some common footprints that can be generated through the wizard. That concludes the component binding process. Goodbye.